What's up everyone, Cop Gamer IFC back again with another video. And today we'll be we'll be doing a preview to the the match on Sunday, England versus Croatia at Wembley in the year in the UEFA Euro twenty twenty or should I say twenty twenty one. As we all know, it's been delayed due to it was delayed last year until co due to Covid and it got quite bad in Europe and that but now a year later we can finally look forward to a tournament and a tournament I've been waiting for so long since our superb 2018 World Cup run when we got to the semi-final but there's a difference we were writing the team off then this time it's going to be different the team's going to become under immense pressure because we are the favourites to win this competition. Fact. Do I think we'll win it? No, because of our defence. So I don't know what the bookies are talking about. But, but we've got to silence the doubters there. I've passed to go out of the round of 16 to Portugal, but I hope the prediction proved me wrong. Not sure them about that. But yeah, the Euros. I cannot wait for this competition. It starts tomorrow as of recording. And yeah, it's going to be a brilliant month of football, a brilliant month of England content, and maybe mutual matches coming to the channel for the first time. It's going to be big. And that. It will be. And that. And yeah, we start our campaign off against the team who knocked us out of the World Cup. Croatia. Now, since then, things have changed. They're arranging a bit. A new format saved them from... Re after we, we, at the time, relegated them from the Nations League. After that. But we know what happened. World Cup. We were going on a really good run. We got to the semis and we had the best chance. I mean it, the best chance to make the World Cup final in Moscow. We were playing at the Nuzhniki Stadium, and this was a Wednesday night, in mid-July 2018. It started off with... And we and we got off to the perfect start. Brilli brilliant free kick from Kieran Trippier, from quite a way out, and, this is, and everyone went nuts. Everyone went nuts in that match. And that. And then, yeah. We, we we had loads of chances, did not take them, especially in the first half, where we could have been 3 or 4 nil up, but okay, we're playing well, we can make the World Cup final if we carry on. But towards the end of the match, we started going tired. Perisic, bang, they equalised. And may I point out, um, Croatia have some proper World Club players, that's what I am. Now, extra time, and we are really tired. The The England team got tired, and it proves. Mario Mandzukic broke our hearts, and, and yeah, it, it was heartbreaking extra time. We were out of the World Cup, and how, and it was a big heartbreak, and that. But one of the things I will say is that we did very well, and it has set us up for future things. Unless it's yet another full storm, like it always is with this team, and that. So yeah, on a further note, let's get started. So, England v Croatia, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a hard game. We're in quite a hard group. We're in a group with Croatia, Czech Republic and Scotland. So I could not emphasise how tough it's going to be, especially this one. They've got some really fantastic players, the likes of Rakitic, Modric, Mandzukic, Perisic, and all them lot. But we have world class players too. And, that, and if we, and Southgate's really got to go for it. Now we do have home advantage in this group, seeing as we're, as we're playing all three of them at Wembley. And if we win our group, we'll continue playing at Wembley. So we could have a, virtually have the whole tournament in London. 
with only one move away, what was the semi-finals and final being in London. Now, like I said, we've got to take our chances. Cannot be wasteful, because we saw what happened in that game. I guess what else is I know we've beaten, we beat them in the Nations League since the World Cup. And may I point out, it's hard to believe what I think of how we will do in the tournament. My heart's telling me we're not going to do it, but my head's actually telling me, yeah. I keep, my I keep reading an article, then looking at the squad and seeing what I think. I can't process it properly. And that. And this will actually be the biggest sporting event since the pandemic begun in the world. Yeah, the world. It was all for a, a tournament with none of the worldwide teams, but just European teams would be the biggest one since the pandemic begun. Obviously, the, these matches could, are going to be played in front of crowds, so I'm really looking forward to that. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing England play. And that is going to put me through it, don't get me wrong. But I am severely looking forward to it. It's going to be so fun. Literally. It's going to be a laugh either way. But no, since the World Cup, we've gone on to beat Belgium. In the, and these are Nations League fun. Belgium, Spain away from home, we won in Spain. And Croatia. In which we got a bit of revenge. But I think we can get proper revenge and do it to them in a major tournament. See, as they knocked us out in a major tournament. Your Nations League is, is a side event, not a major tournament. That goes on throughout a season before the World Cup or Euros. Like, next year's the World Cup, so we have the Nations League this season. But it's been a funny timeline this, pa this past year, what with Covid. But no, like I said, I want to see us get full revenge. And that, I want to see us Stand up. They're well class, yes. But we can beat them on our day. On our day, England can beat anyone. And, I, and that's a fact. I might. I know I'm writing us off and putting us to go around on 16. But I'm going with it with mind. On our day, we can beat anyone. Just got to stick to it and not make famous cock up. No room for error in this first game. If we make an error, they will punish us. So yeah. Anyway. Anyway, this would be my starting eleven from the match, so I will go with Jordan Pickford. So Jordan Pickford in goal. I will go with um I, I hate to say this, but I might have to go with um Ben Ben White, because of he's replacing the injured Trent Alexander Arnold. Um if Maguire is fit in the midfield, I'll go for Jaden Sancho and Jordan Henderson. Because he's, I'm going to go with Sterling, Kane and um, Rashford. Or put DLC or Jack Greenish. Yeah. So they're most of the um, 11 that I want to start. Because I feel like that 11 can really get at them and open them up. They have the best midfield in the world what made them so good in the World Cup, but I'm going to say it how it is. They're ageing a bit, and this is our, a good chance. We we have a definite chance, I say, as well. Obviously, I had us to think we'll draw, and I'm still going with that, and I'm still going with my prediction of the round of 16, because of our defence and that. But like I said, they're going to go with a strong line-up. Hopefully, Southgate goes with a strong line-up. And I might be vlogging this game, or no, I'm definitely going to do a vlog, if, if it's not an England match, over the weekend. I might even vlog tomorrow's match, you know. And that. So yeah, thank you for watching this preview to England v Croatia. It's going to be a big game on Sunday, I might even invite people to watch it. And yeah, I'll also give a shout out to Dynamic Guy 287 and the Gaming Black Dragons, do go and subscribe to them if you haven't already. And yeah, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.